Princess Kate Middleton, the wife of Prince William, has always exuded joy and optimism in photos, but behind that smile and seemingly perfect family life, there may be more to the story. A diagnosis of cancer was made for 42-year-old Kate Middleton, the wife of the heir to the British throne. After numerous rumors about her disappearance, she addressed the public through a video message, confessing that she had undergone surgery on her abdomen and had been diagnosed with an oncological disease. Many fans were concerned that the princess made the announcement alone without her husband's support. The couple has been trying to project a perfect image of their relationship in public, but their real life is far from idyllic. Unresolved conflicts and suppressed emotions can often be the source of various health problems. Psychologist candidate, a physiognomy expert specializing in visual psychodiagnosis, shared their thoughts on whether the situation in the royal family could have triggered Kate's cancer. What may have caused Kate Middleton's cancer? All disease begins in the mind is more than just a cliché. People who constantly harbor negative thoughts or suppress negative emotions can, in a sense, attract negative events into their lives. According to scientific data, 86% of all human diseases are linked to an individual's emotional state. Grief and resentment, in particular, are common culprits behind health problems, including cancer. This phenomenon is known as psychosomatics. During times of stress, appetite may decrease or headaches may arise. If an individual learns to manage their emotions and express themselves constructively, these symptoms will subside quickly. However, chronic stress can reactivate this mechanism, leading to disruptions in various bodily functions. Physical health can also be affected by other types of stress. There's a theory that Kate's cancer may have originated in the female reproductive organs, given that she had previously undergone surgery on her abdomen. A diagnosis may be the result of experiences triggered by a series of betrayals, infidelity, constant belittling, and insults from a close partner, which represents a stress related to the partner and, consequently, discomfort in one's own identity. This theory has some basis, considering the media's constant coverage of the royal family's various scandals. It's essential to conduct a comprehensive examination to determine whether the disease is caused by poor emotional management or has organic causes. The health of royal family members is under strict government surveillance and they have access to high-quality medical professionals who can apply cutting-edge diagnostic methods. It's highly unlikely that Kate's illness is solely the result of physical factors. The mental health concerns of the British royal family remain a pressing issue. Meghan Markle, the wife of Prince Harry, revealed in an interview that she had requested psychological support from members of the royal family, but was denied. The informal ban on seeking help from mental health professionals is due to the need to maintain confidentiality, which is essential for both members of the royal family and their life partners. The Windsors fear that revealing such information could lead to scandals and prefer to keep their secrets behind palace walls. Psychological support can be beneficial in fighting serious illnesses. Working with psychosomatics can contribute to cancer recovery, but it's essential to understand that it's only effective in the early stages. If a person is already in the fourth stage of cancer with metastasis, such therapy unfortunately won't help. Therefore, the sooner one seeks help from a specialist and works through their emotions, the more chances there are for recovery," said a psychologist. Expressing emotions allows each person to avoid worsening their condition in various diseases. In a 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan Markle revealed that members of the British royal family do not seek psychological help. Unexpressed and unaddressed resentments and stress could have contributed to the development of an oncological disease in the future queen. What emotions was Kate Middleton hiding? According to protocol, Kate is expected to project a happy image in public, but often her face reveals more than her words or actions, as emotions inevitably reflect on one's appearance through habitual reactions to events. 
Facial muscle activity can convey a multitude of emotions and frequent use of specific muscles can lead to the formation of wrinkles and creases similar to physical exercise, explained physiognomist Olga Drozkova. Behind the smile that is usually perceived as genuine, Kate may be hiding unexpressed emotions. Perhaps she finds ways to express them in private moments at Kensington Palace or during sporting activities. Deeply etched nasolabial folds can indicate a sense of disgust. Vertical creases in the corners of the mouth can suggest suppressed emotions and a desire to maintain a benevolent expression. Her restraint is observable in her gestures and facial expressions. This is also evident in her sharp nose, added the expert. Kate is suspected of being able to manipulate situations. Meghan Markle accused Middleton of bullying and racism, but in public, she always appeared friendly. Kate has a good sense of people and may even have a manipulative talent, concluded the expert. However, what exactly is hidden behind their restrained poses and tense smiles remains a mystery. Perhaps the strict English etiquette is a result of numerous scandals, betrayals, insults, and solitude. How Kate won over William and the public. Kate Middleton possesses all the qualities that make her likable to the strict English public. A beautiful young woman with refined manners and a kind heart couldn't help but win over the hearts of the British people. She is often associated with Princess Diana, who remains etched in the hearts of Britons as a paragon of future royalty. Men often choose partners who remind them of their mothers. The resemblance between Kate and Lady D was a topic of discussion even before her wedding to the heir to the throne. They did share common personality traits and some physical similarities. From a physiognomic perspective, this is not surprising as outer appearances often reflect the character of the individual. They both, Kate and Diana, are perfectionists with a keen understanding of the world around them. This is evident, for example, in their well-developed zygomatic muscles, said an expert. Both of them also place great emphasis on family, especially children. This trait is reflected in the enlarged mid-face area. Like Diana, Kate has the ability to influence public opinion. This is confirmed by her well-developed upper lip. This detail also points to stability, restraint, and creative potential. Both of them have an impact on fashion and public trends. Kate, like her predecessor, is actively involved in philanthropy, and her style is often discussed in global media. She is a fashion authority in the UK, added the expert. Kate quickly adapts to changes and skillfully follows new trends. She convincingly leads the way, concluded the expert. Like Diana, her actions influence public opinion and draw attention to herself. After Lady Di's death, a wave of negativity hit the royal family and they were associated with the tragedy. The development of William and Kate's relationship. Kate and William's wedding was a highly anticipated event for the people of the United Kingdom, who had been waiting for it for almost a decade. The reason for this prolonged wait was that William decided to legitimize his romance with Kate only after receiving the blessing of Elizabeth Yu, which didn't happen until 2011. The long wait almost made Kate doubt her relationship, especially considering the pressure from journalists who dubbed her Waiting Kate and tried to find the reasons behind her long-standing engagement. In 2007, the couple even broke up for a short time. William tried to start a relationship with another girl, but she couldn't handle the constant attention from the public and paparazzi, which Kate was willing to endure. William returned to his girlfriend, but didn't take long to make her a proposal. The waiting finally ended with a romantic proposal and a magnificent wedding that drew attention from almost the entire world. William made his proposal with special romanticism away from curious eyes and cameras. During their trip to Africa, he got down on one knee in front of Kate and presented her with a ring that belonged to his late mother, Princess Diana. Kate accepted. Their wedding became one of the most discussed events in global press and Kate's wedding dress became a true icon of fashion. 
After their wedding, Kate and William had three children, George, Charlotte, and Louis. What's wrong with Kate and William's relationship? Even on their wedding day, the first signs of tension in their relationship began to emerge. During the celebration, they kept a distance from each other, adhering to strict protocol. Neither Kate nor William seemed to want to hug, kiss, or even touch each other. After the wedding, their relationship didn't become any more intimate. At public events, they maintained a certain distance, adhering too closely to protocol. Kate might take William's hand or arm, but he wouldn't show any desire to physically touch her, which is important for strengthening their bond, as physical contact is considered one of the languages of love. In comparison to Prince Charles and Camilla's relationship, before and after their wedding, the differences are striking. They always behave naturally, discussing various topics and often laughing together. They seem comfortable in each other's company, which can't be said for Kate and William. In photos, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge demonstrate cold relationships with each other. On rare photos with their children, it's noticeable that the couple tries to separate from each other. Often their children become a kind of barrier between them. This coldness in their relationship has fueled various rumors about the royal family. It was claimed that William was unfaithful to his wife and had numerous romances, and rumors circulated about a possible breakup. The situation was further complicated by Kate's forgetfulness, which surfaced several times in public without her engagement ring, but each time she found a justification for her actions. A storm of discussions erupted around the couple after Kate's mysterious disappearance. By the end of 2023, the Princess of Wales stopped appearing in public, and all events where the couple was scheduled to attend were postponed or cancelled. Kate's fans began speculating about her disappearance, including the possibility that she might have lost her life. The situation was resolved relatively smoothly. Kate revealed that she had undergone surgery on her abdomen, which led to the discovery of cancer at an early stage. She was prescribed chemotherapy to prevent the spread of the disease. When Kate addressed the public alone in a video message, it caused disappointment among some of her fans. Some followers believe that the prince, who had previously refused to comment on his wife's condition during rumors about her disappearance, should have been by her side as support. As reported in the press, he agreed to a staged scene, which was presented as a walk with an actress resembling Kate. They went out on the street and pretended to have a happy family life. Such events, it seems, are part of the duties of British royal family members in playing their roles before the public. When the truth came out, none of the participants in this staging even apologized. All of this only reinforced the impression of the stern English public that the relationship between Kate and William is more formal than genuine. Over time, feelings may have cooled, considering they've been together for over 20 years. Their story makes it clear that even a charming prince can turn out to be a cold and pedantic person who prioritizes duty, power, and centuries-old rules over love.